Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Lunch Break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll give you an update on the Coast Guard search for a missing family, the vote on the 2016 scheduled bear hunt, and more. Today is Friday, June 24th, and this is the Lunch Break. A second body was recovered Thursday as the Coast Guard continues to search east of the Boca Grande for a family who was reported missing Tuesday after the family set sail en route to Fort Myers. Ace Kimberly, 45, and his three children, aged 17, 15, and 13, were last heard from Sunday afternoon after departing from Sarasota. At 4.30 p.m. Wednesday, a helicopter crew from an air station in Clearwater located and recovered a body approximately 40 nautical miles west of Sanibel. The body was transferred to local authorities for identification. On Thursday, Cape Coral Fire and Rescue recovered a second body four miles southeast of the location of the first body. A Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission panel of seven voted on Wednesday to postpone the 2016 scheduled bear hunt. According to the FWC, there will be a zero hunt objective set for 2016. Whether or not the petition signed by nearly 2.5 million Floridians played a role in the panel vote is unknown. However, the 2015 hunt, which claimed the lives of over 300 bears, angered a broad range of people, including many of the state's most influential and outspoken. You can find more at LeeHerald.com. Stocks are plunging in the U.S. and worldwide today after Britain voted to leave the European Union. The results stunned investors who reacted by rushing to the safety of gold and U.S. government bonds as they wondered what will come next for Britain, Europe, and the global economy. U.S. stocks took far smaller losses than markets in Europe and Asia, but were still sharply lower in morning trading. Britons voted to leave the EU over concerns including immigration and regulation. It's far from clear what that will mean for international trade or for Europe as the EU, which is formed in the decades following World War II, has never before lost a member state. Check back with the Naples Herald for more updates. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at thenaplesherald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on Monday.